Hey everybody, welcome to Burr Tech. In this episode, we're going to be talking about why people don't 3D model more. Alright, before we start this video, I want to make sure that you like and subscribe. And if you know somebody who likes 3D modeling or who wants a 3D model, please share this video with them. Remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon and every dollar that we get from the products that you buy below goes into making more content. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's content. You get over 1,700 hours of content and we release over 20 to 60 hours of new content per month. So 3D modeling is a huge industry and if you're really good at it, chances are you can get a job somewhere. If you think about it, 3D modeling is just like the digital equivalent of sculpting something out of clay. Lots of people take pottery classes and lots of people do sculpting as well and some people do wood whittling and there's a bunch of things that people do in the real world where they actually have a chunk of something and they make something out of it. 3D modeling is exactly this. You take a block or a digital cube and you mold it into something that's really awesome. So why don't more people do it? One of the reasons I guess why people don't 3D model is that the tools are usually extremely prohibitive cost-wise. If you want to learn how to 3D model, you usually have to go through Autodesk and Autodesk has some really expensive software. If you're a student, you get to use it for free. However, if you want to buy it, it's pretty expensive. Like it's really expensive, way too expensive. It's even too expensive for me, someone who runs a business and makes quite a bit of money. It is expensive, but the software is really good. Lots of things are designed in Autodesk software. This is everything from cars, to video games, to a lot of pretty much anything that needs to be designed in 3D. So most people are not gonna take a $3,000 plunge just to kind of get started. Luckily, there's an open source version called Blender, and Blender is really good. Blender is awesome because it just came out with a new version. This version is miles beyond the previous versions. Now I started using Blender way back in 2008 and I thought that Blender was quite awesome at the time. Now of course, being just out of university, I didn't want to spend $3,000 on Autodesk software so I naturally downloaded the free version. So why do people do this more? I've always been puzzled about this. So Blender is a really awesome and free program and with the new version of 2.8, then why don't people do it more? I think people just don't quite understand how awesome Blender is and how satisfying 3D modeling is. If you like to draw, sculpt, or do something artistic, then perhaps 3D modeling is good for you. You can start today. I personally love 3D modeling. Modeling. In fact, I find it quite therapeutic to just open up Blender and kind of design something from scratch. I've used it for so many years and the controls are extremely intuitive. The best part is that Blender 2.8 is free. Now everyone who is a 3D modeler likes to do something different. Everyone likes to do something different in Blender, but I personally like to make buildings because architecture, like music or programming, is one of those disciplines where it's partly creative and partly technical at the same time. Of course you can have a building that works, but if it doesn't look good, then people are probably not going to use it. Just like if you have code that works or an app that works, but if it doesn't look good, people are not going to use it or buy it. So why don't more people, specifically programmers, learn 3D model? I think it's because programmers think it's way too creative and it's not for them. Well, if you're a programmer, I would recommend taking up Blender, and the best thing that you can do is probably make building. Modern buildings are pretty square and they're very easy to do in Blender. I highly recommend you try Blender if you're a programmer. If you want to be a game programmer, then you absolutely have to understand how Blender works. Because if you understand how 3D modeling works, when you work with a team, you'll understand why some of the art might be taking so long. If you don't understand that process, then it's easy to look at the artist and say, why are you taking so long on something that should be easy? It might be something that is really hard to do, and if you don't know how hard that thing is to do, you won't have any understanding of the project, and it will create friction. Mammoth Interactive is known for making tutorials that show you how to code, build the art, and then complete the game. And that holistic approach is what people keep on buying. In fact, we mostly do this process, and over the years, we've added a ton of Blender content to our platform. In fact, we add hours and hours of content to our subscription every month. And remember, if you want to subscribe to our content, the link is down below. It's the best way to help out the channel. One of the reasons we do this is because as I've been using Blender for years and years, I feel that my coding skills have gotten a little bit better. Even Blender has an option to use Python in it. You can actually code in Blender. 
The reason why I feel like I've improved as a programmer is because it's working on something that's technical but slightly different. And when you have a task that's slightly different, your mind gets to work through the problems of the other tasks. So one thing I recommend that you do if you want to be a career-oriented person is to have a serious hobby. Now my serious hobby is Ultimate Frisbee, and I like to play it because I get to go out, I get to meet people, and I get a pretty good workout. Now over the years, another serious hobby of mine was Blender, and I would go into Blender and I would model some stuff, and then I would maybe make a course here and there. Having a serious hobby is a topic for another time, but it's something that I highly recommend that you do. If you're looking for a new serious hobby, perhaps make it Blender. Not only as a coder will you learn a valuable new skill, but you might end up liking it. I do the same thing for graphic design, by the way. One of the things that I like doing is working with graphic design, and I find that working in these disciplines not only helps me and my career because it's a skill that I have, but I actually find the process to be fairly good. I also do like coding as well. If I wasn't a coder, I would probably do it in my spare time anyway, but that's my main job, other than being a CEO, of course. So have you tried 3D modeling? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you're a coder or a programmer, have you tried 3D modeling? What was your experience? Please write in the comments down below. Remember that this channel doesn't do a Patreon and all of our digital products are down below. And every dollar that we get from the digital products that you buy below goes to making more content. If you want a ton of new Blender content, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's content. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in another video.